Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Lola! Hello! <laughs> hey, how are you? Hello, po! ay walang iwanan. Kahit refrigerator nyo, water lang ang laman. Remember that life's a hill. You go up, you go down. Kaya ang maganda, gawin nyo na lang siyang playground. Chat and chill ang theme song sanang gamitin nyo. Do you remember kung ano ang nasa dulo? La, la, la. La, la, la. May ibig sabihin pala ito. According to a song, La 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 means I love you. <laughs> okay. Jacko's now married, and unlike most weddings, all mushy-gushy, emotional, sentimental, all that type of stuff, his was a bit different. Instead of the whole boohoo type speeches, it was a straight up roast. Where the F have you been? <laughs> it was like a live Comedy Central roast of the bride and the groom, and it was the most that I've ever laughed this entire year. The wedding reception was more like a comedy bar, which was led by the comedian legend Joey DeLeon himself, followed by his friend Aaron, and then his brother Gio, who straight up murdered him. Yet it was the most thoughtful and endearing thing I've ever seen. Ikana, carinyong brutal. And I know Jaco wouldn't have had it any other way. The full roast will be on Jaco's channel, hopefully within a week, more likely within a year. But stay tuned for that because it was the most fun I've ever had at any wedding and it was the perfect wedding for someone that's a content creator like Jacko himself. It was symbolic of Jacko's greatest passion, content creation. And that's what the wedding turned out to be. In addition to tying up the knot and celebrating love and all that good stuff, it was also one big piece of great content. Content in the forms of poems, speeches, videos, photos, songs, everything. It was like one big collaboration between all of these content creators who are made up of Jacko and Jill's family and friends who all came together to celebrate and entertain while sharing this very special moment. But doing it in a way that would coincide with what Jacko is so passionate about. And with that, you could really see how happy he was. So for more awkward moments on my end and more unusual sightings like Jacko singing and a whole bunch of other goofy stuff, here you go. It's all you! been the most entertaining wedding I've ever been at. Jacko's about to sing a song on stage right now. The homeboys are turning. I think Jacko's gonna <laughs> sing right now. I don't know what, I explain what, this? Ah! I feel so sleepy, all that food has put me through. First time uh, that we've all met Jacko's parents finally after after three years. He liked you the most too. He went straight in for Elodia. No, he said to me that he used to shoot in my house. Yeah. Ah, Did I just say? Your legend was a speech up there too. Your legend was a speech. What does that even mean? Your speech was a legend? That doesn't make sense either. <laughs> Grabbing tanga kutalaka minsan. 
<sighs> Just throw up the gang sign and act cool. Why do I always do that? My dream, like before, was to be your husband. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's so Sorry. funny because. Make you good. I know, I, 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 I want. I'm. Bu um... Game over. Good shit, dude. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, man. We're having fun, dude. We are, we are. This is crazy. Yeah. All right, guys. It's been hectic. It's been crazy. I'll show you some snippets of what went on tonight, and then I'll go into a video Everybody that I made personally for Jacko, which I showed right on stage. That, that, like, literally, I mean, you so, said if I didn't tear up, like, I teared up. Like, like you, you, have, you have to watch the video. Okay, you'll yeah. see it in just a couple minutes. Here it is. We've been through so much in so much together in what feels like the majority of my life. Before I met Jocko, Jacko de Leon! Jacko, 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 Jacko featuring his oh. dimples. Jacko, Jacko, Jacko. De Leon? How are you doing, my friend? I'm good, man. I'm good, man. I'm good, man. I'm good, man. For those who don't know me, my name is Will, and I'm an alcoholic. Just kidding. I'm Jacko's best friend, and I know Bogart, everyone else out there thinks they're Jacko's best friend, but he's my best friend. What's up, fam? Will Dasovich here. Let's do it to him. Actually, Jacko is more like my mother. He's like our mom, dad, best friend, boyfriend, girlfriend. Older he's just brother, like older, older, older brother, older. He's just all of the above. We're inutil talaga, kaming lahat without him. He's also my manager, but he's more like my mom because he does everything for me. Jacko over here, he's got it all planned out. We're gonna do like sand sports, snowboarding. Me and Jacko have a really close relationship. Dude, I love you. I'm so glad you're here, Jacko. You're so here. close that sometimes Jill refers to me as a side chick, and I think she gets jealous. I love you, dude. Love you, man. Getting all bromance, dude. I love, <laughs> I love you. In the last three years, I've spent more time with Jacko than I have with anyone else on planet Earth. So right now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my backstory to give relevance to me and Jacko's relationship. This speech is not about me in particular, but it's more about a product of Jacko de Leon and how he has transformed my life along with many others. Just a few days ago marked the three year anniversary of when I first met Jacko. And although I've only known him for three years, it feels like we've been through so much and, and accomplished so much together in what feels like the majority of my life. Before I met Jacko, I anticipated him to be this big, intimidating, boss-type figure because I heard so much about him throughout the community, but I'd never seen him in person. You know, he was this big producer who created shows and he was connected with Google and anyone and everyone who was important in the community. He gave people jobs, he can put you in a show, he can build you a career. He was like the godfather in this digital YouTube space. You wanna become rich, I'll make you rich. You wanna become an actor, I'll hook you up with Tony. You wanna be an online sensation, then I got three people I want you to meet, let's set up a meeting, let's do it. You need a few bucks? Well then I got a job for you, just bring your friends around, do me a favor and we'll make it happen. Uh. This is the picture painted in my head of this guy. Top of the morning to you fellas. But, I remember when I first walked up to him to meet him, it was just a kid. The dude looked younger than me and he was just like this little chubby kid sitting there in the chair and yeah, I just walked up to him. Everyone, this is by the way, Jacko de Leon. Como esta, Hey man, how are you doing? Not intimidating whatsoever, but he was still like this YouTube digital mob boss behind the scenes because everyone knew who he was and he had so much credibility. He's a cool guy. We ended up setting up a meeting just between the two of us to talk and share ideas, which was supposed to be just like an hour, something really easy and casual. I knew you'd be here. Yeah, yeah, I was just talking to you on the phone, and uh, this is actually our second take, so Yo, I'm not even wearing any shoes anymore. You don't have to- Did you let me go? Get in, get in! This meeting ended up being for nine hours. It was a whole day event up until like 1 or 2 a.m. And there were two main things that I got out of this. One was that this dude can talk more than anyone I've ever met in my entire life. Alright, so we are in Lawak. Then we- <laughs> More, but we'll try to do it Sometimes when I have to call Jacko to ask him like one simple question, it then could end up into being a one to two hour phone conversation. Dude, you do know we have 
contract existing with as in ang daming satsa 2000 years sometimes i think it's like one of his tactics or something the dude's like a walking filibuster where he can just talk you to death until you go and just agree with anything that he says because you just give up Number two, the more important thing that I got out of this meeting was that there was someone who believed in me. He was the first person to ever really understand what it is that I wanted to do. And he shared the same vision with me and how to innovate and become a shapeshifter in the digital world and really expand the potential here in the Philippines. All right, let's do the shot. Right, let's do let's this. go, producer boy. At this time, I was a no one, you know, I was just a, another half Filipino commercial model dude, a couple of thousand followers trying to convince people that I was worth something, that I was different from everyone else. But the thing is with Jacko is he gave me a chance. Just like he does with everyone, he gives everyone a chance, even though the majority of people do not deserve his time or his blessing. But after I met him, you know, my life would change drastically. Oh my God! You know what it is? Of course I know what it is. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day for like a year. My career took off and same with everyone around me and around Jacko. YouTube Philippines was dead at the time and then it just blew up and the industry rapidly changed. And Jacko was like the big mastermind behind everything. And he's never really got any big attention for how big of an impact he's had on everything. And that just goes along with the character of who he is. Come on, Jacko. Let's go. <laughs> he's a really nice, humble guy. Jacko's taking one for the team. There wasn't enough tickets, so he's taking the bus home while we're all catching a flight, dude. What a legend. Throughout helping myself and all of those people around me, my sister Haley, my best friend Daniel Marsh, Nina, and countless other people, he never asked for anything. He did it all from the goodness of his heart, and he just had faith in karma that it somehow would come back and reward him, which it did. His trademark line is, we rise by lifting others. And that really has been the backbone and the foundation of, of his success, my success, everyone around us, everyone around him. You know, when Jacko's winning, when Jacko's accomplishing something, he never forgets the people around him, and, and he makes sure that everyone eats well. We have good for, good for five, good for nine. Now the thing is, there's not many people you can find like this with that type of mentality in this world, especially in this entertainment industry. He's probably done more for me than anyone else in, and no, in terms no, no. of YouTube. Everyone wants a piece of the pie, and Jacko just wants to intermittent fast. That's his secret to being so skinny nowadays. I don't know. The point I'm making is that Jaco De Leon is hands down by far the nicest human being I've ever met in my entire life, and everyone that knows him can agree with that. Love you guys. Something that's been mentioned numerous times from Jaco's closest friends and all the people around him and myself and all of our barcadas is that we always talked about how whoever it may be that would end up with Jaco would be the luckiest girl on planet Earth. So to that, congratulations, Jill, you hit the lottery.